Hi guys, uh, this is Nicole, your Public Relations and Communications Director. Uh, I just wanted to give you a uh, quick tutorial on, uh, on, on pictures. I feel like if uh, I explain to you a little bit about why it's important to have pictures, then you'll be able to fully grasp uh, why it's so important. Uh, in my department, we are responsible for basically generating the business. Uh, you guys take care of uh, closing that gap and getting the business done. Um, but part of my job is to create business for us. So one way that we do that is by Google Ads. And as you can see, uh, this is a, a Google Ad that we have. Uh, this is what it looks like on mobile. And then this is what it looks like on a desktop. We create these ads, uh, which... When a customer gets on the computer and they start Googling, oh my gosh, I've got a crack. I need to figure out, you know, if I can get this fixed or, you know, I have a hole in my yard. What does this look like? Uh, you know, they're, they're coming to the internet to, to seek out information. Part of the way uh, that they do that is not just by reading content, but by also looking at pictures. Uh, they want to make sure that what they're experiencing is in fact a uh, foundation failure. So when they come over here and they look at the cracks, you know, do I, is this what my wall crack looks like? Is this what my ceiling crack looks like? How about my foundation or my concrete slab? Uh, you know, they need pictures to visualize. Does this look like what I'm experiencing? When they come to a page where there is no imagery, that's where we run into a problem. The problem is when uh, there is no imagery for them to, uh, to look at, to compare to. So then what happens is they jump off our website and they go on to the next competitor and look at their website. If they have the content that they're looking for, that, that creates trust um, in a company. If, if I can see that I'm having a problem and you can fix it, then I'm going to call you. Uh, and if we can't show them that we can fix that problem and this is what it looks like, then they're going to move on. So that's why it's really, really important to make sure that we get pictures um, of our projects. The, the, uh, the pictures that we need are befores. Those are super important. Um, you know, you may be thinking, well, the salesperson goes in and they take pictures and those are befores. Yes, those are before pictures. Uh, those are great pictures, but what happens when, uh, you know, there's been several weeks, sometimes a month or so before uh, the, the uh, customer decides they're going to send in their deposit. And then based on our scheduling, our production scheduling, uh, getting a crew out there, you know, things have, could have changed. Things could have happened in between that time. So we don't know that until you get out there on that job. So that's why it's really important to make sure that you get befores uh, as well. So when you get out there before you start the job, as you're getting your crew to unload the trailer or get set up, take three to five minutes and go get a few pictures. Taking uh, pictures from different angles, um, from different perspectives, uh, from a, uh, a distance away and then walking up to the problem uh, for a close-up without using your zoom option on your camera uh, would be optimal. I mean, that would be great. And then uh, like the video suggested, you're just going to upload them to Google Drive. We've created a, uh, a folder called FPF Jobs, Foundation Professionals of Florida Jobs. And inside this folder uh, are other folders that have the types of jobs that we're doing. Uh, you know what type of job you're there to do. If it's a French drain job, then you know you'll click on French drain and then you'll just look alphabetically for your client that you're working on. You click on that client, you go to your pictures and you upload them just like that video showed you. And that's all you have to do. Um, please take pictures before, take pictures after, and then at different increments uh, throughout the job. Now keep in mind the, the types of pictures that we're looking for. Uh, as humans, we see the world in landscape mode, and that's what this picture is showing us. You see, you really have a good sense of what the story is telling you. But if you look at it here, you're looking at it from the portrait mode.
that's not really how we see the world. Uh, we don't look at the world up and down. We look at it side by side. So, uh, you know, keep this in mind. Now, there will be a time where you feel like a portrait picture is appropriate, and that's okay. If you ever have a question about that, uh, take it in both. Take one portrait and one landscape. It never hurts to do that. One of the things that's going to also be important for you guys to, to note is if you could try to make sure that you get your horizon um, level, that, that leaves um, uh, me little room if it's not level for post-processing. So we need the, the pictures to not only be mostly landscape, but also as level as possible. Now, the reason, again, why this is so important is because if we do not have good content um, on the pages that these ads go to, uh, we end up paying more money for these ads than what we should. So the, the way to prevent that from happening is to create great content for a web page. And then along with this French drain uh, documentation here, we can add pictures for the customer so that they know we can fix their problem. This is what it looks like before. This is what we do in the interim. This is how we fix it. And then this is what it looks like on the end of that. Um, so it's going to be really important for you guys to get those pictures for us uh, so that we can create content so it will cost us less for our ads so that we can make the company more money so that we get paid more money. Um, in addition to that, one of the things that I would like to eventually do once we all feel comfortable and we make sure that this, this process works with you guys loading them up into these folders is I would really like to do a photo contest and I would like to feature a photo of the week, photo of the month, and you never know what those incentives might be. So uh, anyways, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. You guys go out there and you work super hard and all this heat uh, and you're very much appreciated and very valued to this company. And so we really appreciate everything that you do. Um, but if you could just please, please, please get me pictures and communicate with me. Does, is this working? Is this going to work out for you? Uh, let me know if it is or if it isn't. We can come up with other ways, but we just need to know. Just communicate. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. And we'll talk to you soon.